Hola, amigos. So I am here re-recording my Timu haul. <sighs> my Timu haul literally sounds like this. Hola, amigos. All right, it has been a minute. God, I don't even remember the last time I posted a video. I think I have low battery. Great. Hold on. 12 seconds later. All right. So anyways, like I was saying, my audio on my Timo haul that I did about two weeks ago, uh, the audio was crap. So I'm re-recording. I scroungled, scroungled, put together everything that I still had in a bag that I didn't put away, which lucky for me, I am a procrastinator when it comes to that. So I put away some things and there's some things that aren't going to be here. So I'm going to have to use the old footage and just do a voice blah, 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 voice over. But okay, let's go ahead and get started. I have bought from them before, but this was more based off of wedding stuff that I've seen. As many of you know, I did get engaged December, so it's going to be almost about five months that I have been engaged. And so I am in the midst of planning a wedding and trying to save as much money as possible. Speaking of this, I've been talking more like this. I think Michael's rubbing off on me. <laughs> Anyway, let's get started. The first thing I have is this super cute flamingo clip and it's gold. I'm actually going to use this in our invitations, which I, oh, I, I just put it away, but I just did a quick mock-up invitation and this is going to be part of my suite. And so I love, love, love that. So I bought 10 packs of 10 pieces. So I have a hundred of these that I put in a Ziploc bag for 10 of them is $1.31. Next thing I have is the gold cake knife and serving set. My colors are terracotta, navy blue, hints of gold. So this was actually not bad. I got this for $3.97, you guys, and not bad. The next thing that I have, I was actually super excited to wear it to the high tea party that I attended a week ago. And it is this pearl headband. And I think you've seen this all over any wedding inspo, wedding Instagram. Honestly, when I put it on, I feel like it's so bulky. Like, is it just me or is it bulky? Like, it doesn't give me the look that I've seen other brides have, you know? So I, I don't know when I'm gonna wear that. It was originally $4.98, but it was on sale for $2.99. So the next thing I have is something I'm super excited for. I bought a That's Amore neon sign. This is going to be going on my Generations of Love and then also a couple's wall. So I have an idea. I'm going to post a quick picture here. Instead of the all you need is love in the middle, I wanted to put That's Amore. So this was actually not bad because I've seen neon signs go for $50 and up. I think I got a quote for the Merinos and it was almost $300. And I was like, holy crap, no, we're not doing that. So this was only $15.11. All right, so our wedding theme is actually mid-century whimsical. So star stickers for your nails, which I thought were super cute. So they come in gold and silver. Obviously, I will be using the gold. This was only 68 cents. <coughs> and there's a cat. The next thing that I have is this cute heart hole punch. I had an idea with this because my venue doesn't allow for confetti or glitter or anything like that. So I was thinking maybe since my wedding's going to be in October, obviously fall leaves and there's a crap ton of trees here in Modesto, I can just do a little hole punch on those dried leaves and make myself some biodegradable, biofill, blah, blah, blah. <laughs> biodegradable confetti that could be thrown. So that's something that I'm thinking about. I still have to run that by the venue and the wedding coordinator, but I got this for 44 cents. The next thing that I have are a bunch of these little tiny card holder uh, triangles. I don't know if it's gonna focus, there it is. But they look like this. There it is. And what I wanted to do is I'm actually going to have a QR code that my guests can scan and upload pictures to after the ceremony into this cloud that everyone can see. But I wanted to go ahead and put the QR code on a cute little sign and then put each of these signs on each table. So that was my idea behind getting these. For 10 pieces, I got for $1.43. Okay, so this might be, <laughs> I'm like debating whether or not to include this. I am going to be doing a lot of DIYing for my wedding. This is hot glue gun finger protector. For my DIY queens out there, you guys know when hot glue gets on your finger, it's like the worst thing for like a fraction of a second. But I was gonna see if this worked and it actually came with a pack of three. So I got that for 97 cents. 
All right, so I believe I got this for a steal. It's glass. And then it has a glass straw as well. I thought this would be so cute as like a, you know, something that I can use for work. But also, you know, want to get something special for those in your bridal party. This could be a super cute idea because everyone uses this. I actually got this for $1.17 from $4.77. So I got that for a steal. All right. So the next thing I have is a brow styling soap. So in my last haul for the makeup blowout sale, I actually bought one that I'm using right now, which honestly is a game changer, you guys. So I'm excited that I have a second one here. So this is, again, uh, just a brow Ooh, ah! it's like almost like you buy nothing but this is something that you put on your brows prior to putting anything on it so you can style it as is and then you put your product on top of it and it's been working really well for me for the other one that I'm using so I'm excited that I again have something as a backup so I actually got this for $1.98 and the one at the makeup blowout sale I got for like $2.75 or something so nothing that's too crazy expensive but nonetheless so I got this canvas and it says this must be the place. My idea of this is to put it in a gold frame and then put it somewhere as table decor, decor. but I just don't know where I want that. But I just thought it was super cute and it was mid-century-ish, so I thought it went with our team. But I did get this for $1.59. You guys, I got a nice pen set. So this is seven pieces. And so what this is, again, I'm going to be doing my own invitation suite. This is going to help me as far as like getting precise cuts that I need because I'm going to be doing some arches and then some, you know, triangle, different shapes. So I got this for $1.78 for seven pieces. So as far as getting ready for the wedding, this is again something that is... <laughs> that I have so many ideas and what do I wear when I'm getting ready? What is the last thing I'm going to wear before I put on my wedding dress and my wedding shoes? So I saw a lot of cute slippers, but I was like, oh, this is, this is super cute. Again, I'm on the fence, but I think it does the job. So these are strawberry slippers and they're so cute. Like you can't tell me those aren't cute though. Like so cute. So they're pink and they have like cute little strawberries on them. So this I got for $1.87 and I think I bought this because the price was just, I could not beat the price when it came to these slippers. Next thing I have is this brown cable clip. And so this is just something that I could use at my desk here at my home office and the desk that I have Michael made. And so this I think would camouflage and could help me not letting my cable slip to the back where I have to reach and put it over the table again. So this I got for 44 cents. Next thing I have is this portable jewelry organizer. So this is something that I'm already using. So this I got for $1.78. And all it is is this plastic here. And then you can see that all of my earrings that I've placed in there. No, leave the fly alone. And it's full so I have to get another one the only bad thing about this is that it doesn't have a closing on top so as you're going through and like taking stuff out alto taking stuff out it will make it so that the other earrings in the other compartments in that same page will also come out it's a little bit difficult but it's fine for me because it does the job not bad for a dollar 78 the next thing I have is this velvet ring box and it is gold. This again is something that I have been seeing on flat lays. The one that I saw came with two ring slots. I wanted three but it's like 15 or 20 dollars for the three one. This one I got for two dollars and 45 cents and again it is on my colors as far as gold so that worked out. So I have this idea for this fan and putting stuff on it so like a Mrs. M. I got this it's like a patch and it's a sticker patch so you don't have to iron it on but it says Mrs. I don't know if it's gonna focus because my face is there oh there it is it says Mrs. and it is in pearl and it's all bedazzled this was actually a dollar 31 so I'm excited to put that to use so this was a random buy just because I was like why not I'm gonna use them sometime 
But there are these four star balloons and this came in a pack of 20 pieces for $1.79. And I think the reason why this was brought up on my explore page on Timu was because I was looking at mid-century stuff and so this is so on par. A little bit too cheesy to use for a wedding. Or is it? I digress. Got that for funsies, as the kids would say nowadays. The next thing I have, I'm actually super excited about, and I was so excited when I first was, uh, uh, the first time that I filmed this, because Michael rounded the corner as I was like explaining what this is, and he was like, What are you spending your money on? <laughs> But it is this bubble gun, you guys. So I need to buy the solution. I should have bought it yesterday at CVS, but I didn't even think about it. But you literally put the solution in this little container and then it blows bubbles out. Don't quite know how because there's no battery in it, but I'm going to probably have Michael figure that out. But I got this for $2.21. And honestly, if it breaks, it breaks. But if it works, it's going to be great. <laughs> Not a 35 year old buying a bubble gun off of Timu. What has my life become? <laughs> my ceremony and my reception, if the weather is willing, will be outdoors. My venue, I'm very lucky that they have an indoor option that is just as beautiful as the outdoor, but I wanted to buy some heel protectors. This was only $1.98 for four pieces. I think I might buy more of these and then make them available to my guests so that, you know, for the, the girls that are wearing the heels, they can go ahead and grab one of these so their heels don't dig into the lawn. So I bought a couple of earrings. These are so cute. They're like, oh, it's just not wanting to focus. But anyways, it is these gold earrings. They were only a dollar forty-eight, and I thought they were so oh, don't mind. <laughs> My 35 year old still to have lots of pimples along the side of my face. <laughs> Don't mind that. You know what? It's bugging me. I can't do it. I can't do it. We're going to do it on this side, guys. Not that this side's any better. All right. There's that. Again, not any better. I have a Mount Vesuvius right over here. Ignore that. But it is super cute because when you look to the side, it's like a heart. Isn't that cute? A dollar forty-eight. I bought a bunch of cards as well. I'm just going by order that I have them here on my little price sheet. So this is so cute. It goes, you take up so much room in my heart and it has a little mushroom on it. Something that I can use for one of my just because or anniversaries with Michael. So this was a dollar fourteen. Another thing I have is your shrimply the best and it is a cute little shrimp. Isn't that so cute? And I love giving random cards to my goal just because, or even for anniversaries, I love puns. You guys know I love puns. So this was $1.73. So I got a wedding card for my mom and my dad, and it says, to my dad and to my mom on my wedding day. So I got them that. I'm gonna get put a cute little message in there to be delivered as I'm getting ready. What's funny enough is that the dad one is only 89 cents and the mom one's $1.50. I don't know why they're different pricing because they're almost the same exact card, but I digress. The next thing I have I've actually used to clean this camera and then also my computer keyboard because you can't get through the crevice and I just don't have the little blower. So this is a small little mini cleaning brush for 17 cents. You get what you pay for because it is very cheapo, but it does the job, you guys. The last card that I got, I think this is going to be the card that I'm gonna send Michael on our wedding day when I have my gift delivered to him. But it says, joined together in holy macaroni. <laughs> Isn't that cute? <laughs> so this was $2.48. 2023 to 2024 wedding season. Cannot go without these heart glasses. Again, if you are engaged, just got married, or looking to get married, you have seen these glasses. Probably in white, but I got red because they were only 44 cents for the red ones. And I thought the red ones were super cute. So, yeah. All right, I think I'm running out of room. So let me go ahead. I ran out of space on my card because I don't delete things. So I had to delete a couple things. But anyways, I got these glasses for 44 cents. I feel like if I put on this and this, I mean, if that doesn't scream 2023 to 2024 bride, what does?
<laughs> more wedding stuff so the next thing that i have are these craft notebooks the little mini notebooks and a reason why i wanted to buy this is because there is for flat lays and then also what's trending now is his and her vow books that are notebooks that you write in so they're going anywhere from like thirty dollars to almost as bit like fifty five dollars for some simple ones so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to make our own. I'll either put a stamp on there or I'll do calligraphy myself just so that we have something similar to that. But why not? You can't go wrong. So for three of these, I got for $2.11. I'm really into the whole pearl vibe and you'll see come my wedding how much I'm into it. So I got these 18 piece hair pearl hairpins and they vary from different sizes from small to large and it's not focusing so it's whatever but they're super cute you can just go ahead and just insert them especially if you have like an updo or something you know can't go wrong with that so a dollar 34 for 18 pieces of these so i can somehow incorporate that maybe in my bridal shower i don't i don't think i'm going to incorporate that on my actual wedding day maybe in my rehearsal never know the next thing that i have are these heart pearl earrings there it is pearl earrings look how cute that is there's pearl a pearl up top and then a heart shaped pearl at the bottom there and it is also a convertible but it could just be a pearl earring like that so i got that for 62 cents okay the next thing i have is this garter i don't know if this is the garter that i'm going to use because again as soon as you put wedding in front of anything the price just skyrockets it's crazy so if i were just to buy this garter just to be sexy for the day it'd be nothing but since it's a wedding i it, it's like 30 dollars for a piece of lace so i saw this garter it was only a dollar fifty. It has feathers on it, and I don't like feathers, so I think I'm gonna find something else to dangle on there, and maybe it could be. Again, I am not doing bouquet toss, garter toss, so this is just gonna be something for me and Michael. So I think I'm just gonna make it my own. So dollar fifty, you cannot go bad. This might be so dumb. I want to say that they remarketed this as something else. I think I saw this on Simply Nail Logical's video. She uses cuticle oil and she makes her own like little things. And I feel like this is what it would come in. And they marketed it as a envelope sealer. So what you do is you put water in here, I think, water, and you just seal the envelope so you don't have to keep licking envelopes. So I got this for $1.79. Okay, the last pair of earrings I have are these super cute bow earrings. They're like, again, pearl bow. They're so cute. I think I'll for sure wear these for my bridal shower. But look how cute that is. So this I got for $1.34. Another thing to help me DIY my invitations is this paper cutter. So on Amazon, this goes for $8 and up. So I got this for $1.62 and I can't seem to find it somewhere in the bag, but it came with five extra blades for this in case it dulls. So I'm excited to use that and, you know, maybe I get what I pay for and I have to go back to Amazon for this, but I think for the time being, it works for me or we will see how it works. So another thing I didn't want to dig up from things that I put away are these paper or paper clips, hair clips. So I use these hair clips anytime I do my hair because I do my hair first and then I do my makeup. And what I do is, you know, I clip it back like this just so it stays out of my face. And then also I do this for work. For those of you who don't know, I work in San Jose and I live in Modesto. So that is about 86 miles on a good day. It's about a two hour drive. So by the time I get to work, I found that my hair has lost so much volume. So I do this. What I do is I put my hair all to the front like so as I'm driving so I don't lay on it. And then by the time I get to work, I just take this off and I have volume. Like, look at that. Just for that little time, I have, and don't mind the hair here, guys. It's just doing its own thing. But it gave me that volume that I needed. Can you imagine for two hours, you know, how much more volume? But I did get this for $1.34 for 12 of them. I did have my own prior to this Timu haul, so I just know I wanted more. I got something exactly like this from Amazon like five years ago for like, I think it was $10 or something. And it's this silicone heat mat heat mat and 
it's something that you put your heating tools on for your hair so that it doesn't damage your counter or whatever it may be. And then it also acts as a travel bag. So if you're stay staying at an Airbnb and you're like, you gotta go, but you just got done with your hair, you stick it in here and it won't damage anything else in your luggage. You guys, I got this for $1.77 and doing a side-by-side -side comparison on this, holy crap, this is exactly the same one that I bought at Amazon. I just got it for a fraction of the price. So, goodbye on that. I'm not gonna have a bridal party for my wedding. It's just because I wanted it to be just Michael and I. What I'm gonna go ahead and do is give corsages, corsages, corsages to, uh, you know, like my mom, Michael's sister, May, my cousin, Sadie. So it comes with eight. And what this is, is it is again with the pearl details and what may and my aunt will do is take my flowers which are exclusively baby's breath and make that so that it will sit nicely on there and then i can provide that to the people i want to wear it just a nice little touch for my for our wedding day so i got that for eight for three dollars and sixty cents okay i know that i have a knife pen set but i also bought this it is just a regular 13 piece knife set and it is like so comes with three different things and then a crap ton of blades that have fallen out of their uh, respective places i'm not going to touch that just yet i got this for two dollars and 19 cents for the ceremony for the first row i wanted to reserve for my own immediate family and then michael's immediate family so i bought these they're like wooden reserve signs i'm going to stain them because they are very very light comes with its own little sign holder so for five of these i paid three dollars and 95 cents Mostly everything that I bought was up to par with my expectations along with one other thing which is a vase which I will talk about later. These ink pads. So they are gold uh, ink pads. Super small you guys. Like I thought they were going to be bigger but they're literally the size of my palm. I bought two of them because I thought I was going to be using a lot of it but I don't even think I'm going to use it now because it's so small. My stamps are literally twice the size of this. So this was $1.34 for one so I ended up buying two. So I'm a little disappointed in that but maybe I have some future use for them. You, you never know. Okay, the next thing I have is also something fun that Michael and I can um, utilize at the wedding. So it is these huge Mr. and Mrs. balloons. So this one says Mrs this one says mister and they're giant like round balloons and i thought they were gonna be super cute this was a dollar 31 for both of them so the two things that i have here are skewers mini skewers and then these foam balls so my idea camille editing pop the picture of my inspo that i'm trying to recreate um, again mid-century atomic starburst not starburst but just an atomic ball is what i want to say so i am going to diy this via these so the skewers i got for a dollar 79 and then for 30 foam balls i got for a dollar 98 so let's see how that goes all right the next thing that i have is this cutting mat like i said i am going to be doing my own invitations so this cutting mat will help it so that I don't accidentally cut into our coffee table or our dining table so I can do all of my cutting of the shapes that I want that I'm going to be doing too much of when it comes to my wedding. Blah, blah, blah. This was a dollar seventy-five. Right? The last thing that I have tangible here is this corner round punch. This makes it so that the corners of your invites won't have to be just 90 degrees so i think i wanted to round them out and give them a little bit more cutesy like you know you know me doing the most on amazon it was going for eight dollars i had it saved and good thing i didn't buy it i got this for three dollars and 97 cents so a couple of things that i'm just going to include here that i'm just going to do the voiceover are, are the bottle brush that i got for 51 cents to clean bottles the bunny cell phone holder for 68 cents and that is something that is at my office right now i have three thongs i was like i'm i'm a exclusively victoria's secret girl but i was like i'm gonna give these a try they literally look like the underwears that i have now so um i got three of those for a dollar 85 i got three pairs of smiling socks for 58 cents i love socks so i wanted to give these a try and then also the five piece floral socks which are a little bit higher not so much ankle for a dollar and 38 
sense. So the two things that I also didn't want to bring back from storage was the one piece mini vase, but it was marked as three pieces in the description. So I was a little bit sad about that, that I paid $3 for one vase. I've been getting vases for like 50 cents at the thrift store. So that sort of killed me a little bit, but I digress. And then the last thing is a two piece candle holder. One of them came fine. The other one came like broken and was like spreading glass all over. The package that it came in so that was a little bit sad about that so for two of those I got for two dollars and eighty seven cents all right so if I did this right I got a total of 60 53 items but again I got 10 of those uh, flamingo paper clips. So technically my total is 63 items for $126.72, which you guys is a steal for everything that I got because I think that just my neon sign, if I were to get that custom made, would be about that price. So I have another Timu uh, package en route. So hopefully I'll be able to share that with you all again. But if you like this video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. If you want to see more videos by me, click that red subscribe button. It would totally make my day and I will see you guys later. Bye!